Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 12 of my regs to property owners. Let's play. If you are returning, welcome back. And we're about to have a potluck. I've already got everybody selected. And of course, we're going to have it at our home a lot. And she needs to get a gold and um, in the party for her discerning dweller aspiration. Rosalind is who I mean. And I pretty sure I invited the landlord property owner because we need to become good friends and um, then they'll all be at the point where they're ready is anyone coming this is uh bringing food well we can ask about career well there there he is okay so we want to discuss interests and thank for coming we kind of want to try and become uh better friends did anyone bring any food because we oh we have a cake well that's not really very useful <laughs> it's not like food food but we can compliment your your cake even though i'd like some real food and it's just the fact that we have to eat the potluck food like i don't have a problem making food i just kind of stop because there usually is too much food that cake i can't say is really that great so let's go under compliments Compliment potluck item, <laughs> even though I don't, even though I don't really like it. I'm sure everybody else will love it. It's just not something I'm a big fan of. I had them practicing magic, and did you get? You got your programming complete, so we're gonna stop you. Oh look, we actually have some real food, and someone's eating cake, so that doesn't matter. It's actually being eaten. You can put that there. We have more room this time. We, I had her rummaging. I have Philip going and looking for hopefully tassels, but something in the dig sites. And I was talking to a friend and they pointed out where there's a couple of more that I didn't realize about. So finally, can you call to meal? And then once you're, I guess I'm going to have to just have you fly here to come back. And maybe, I know you're in a party outfit, but maybe we should wear a different party outfit than that. <laughs> that was more for in case. Sometimes I find they wear their party outfits for the prom. And then other times I find they wear their, um, we got a purple tassel. Their formal outfits. So, okay, let's try doing this again. Call to meal. And when you come back, you could probably do some gossiping because you, you two are both. Maybe she's just cringe. I thought she was a gossip. I don't know if she's a cringe and a gossip or a witch, but we're going to gossip and just, you know what? Pry for secrets. I do have them on this aspiration. Snoop for secrets, discover secrets, eavesdrop on Sims. And one of you two was hungry. You're hungry, but you're, you're still not... Okay, just come grab the food. I know I want you to become friends with him, but this is honestly taking too long. And you just look like you're standing there. Maybe you are talking to him. You're not good friends yet, though. And did anyone else bring... Like, there was someone else I... I made three potluck contributors, because I find that... Well, that's the minimum. But I find that's a generally a good number. Uh, otherwise, I don't. I find it's too many. So why don't you come and clean up? It's like too much food, and it's just everywhere. And uh, yeah, we, we're kind of limited on our seats. Oh, we got the abandoned Smeaky. I think I've seen that one before. So you should have got one discovered secret. Yay! Um, so you got a pile of sand, yellow. Oh, you got a marble. Purple tassel and a ducky. Okay. <laughs> I've only ever really found nothing or tassels so far. But uh, that's good. But I thought we were gossiping. I thought you gossiped. Do, do we have to gossip again? Maybe that didn't count. Here, let's try gossiping. Maybe I, I know I was debating between what. So maybe I uh, we're going to gossip. We're not going to confront yet. That's that's for like the next step. 
And we got our gold anyway, so that's really all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> and you're very flirty. May as well release a track. Produce a new track. And I think you've done all your work here. Even though you need some more... Um, you can come here and use... Oh, we need to tell a story. Why don't you tell a story? Where are you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you're cleaning up. I was going to tell you to tell a story, but you're cleaning up. But we're going to go here, friendly, when you're finished cleaning, and we're going to tell a story. We'll tell a dramatic story. And then after we have our party done, when does this end? Four hours and 37 minutes long. Um, I did it early so that we could go to the night market afterwards because she needs that for her location. And then I may have her take a day off. I don't know because she has to go. I guess there's not a rush to get the, the aspirin. Just because... It's not a rush to get it done because she has the after-school activity and that's like 3.30 to 5.30 and there's not a lot of window for doing the... Though I suppose only one of the things that she has to do. She has to go to the Tiger Sanctuary and that's the only thing that matters about getting there before 6. So she could possibly do that tomorrow. Especially if I had like stuck a broom in her inventory, she could probably get over there more easily. And that was one of the reasons I had them practicing magic to try and level up their magic so that we get a broom in the mail. But it might just be just as easy to, for me to take them. I'm not going to show it, but just take them to Magic HQ so they can learn some magic. But I can't say we got a lot of potluck foods. Like there was supposed to be three contributors and I, so we saw a cake and we have this steamed rice uh maybe all right i'm gonna have you burn that track sorry <laughs> i lost track of the fact that that's what you were doing we could stick you on this party aspiration and see if it counts for that it might that would be kind of nice did someone leave food downstairs in the shared space I don't see anything I think I will actually add a door between, but it obviously, I would hope people wouldn't come in there. It's not like people come in the back door. It's not the front door. So hopefully it would work. Okay, can you get out of there? Go here. Good, you did. Oh, something was a mildly unpleasant meal. Okay, well, why don't we try and do some gossiping? Why don't we friendly gossip? Pry for secrets. We need to learn some secrets. So that's one way to do it. Just, just We also can go out to the lounge. I find that sometimes there's people there and you can eavesdrop on them. And that's another way to get. I don't know that the I don't know the tumorang truths that you get if they can are considered secrets or not. I guess we could try that. We could try that instead. That was a negative. <laughs> Understandably so. We're going to do Tumerang Truth. Oh, but we got a secret. Feeling bleak in Willow Creek. I don't... That doesn't sound familiar to me. Okay. You know what? I'm just so tired of hearing everyone talk about Willow Creek all the time. It's always Willow Creek this and Willow Creek that. I can't stand it anymore. I hate Willow Creek. I have spent way too much time there. To me, even one minute is too long. It's just so willowy and way too creaky you know that grass is greener on the other side saying what if the grass in willow creek is a little too green ever think about that <laughs> okay well maybe we should oh you're not actually very good friends with him uh tell dramatic story okay so the tumorang truth doesn't count for it and i didn't think it did but i wanted to check so if i'm not at the gym you'll probably find me with my nose in a book i read everything from lord of the swings to the dusk glow trilogy to gentleman corgi a memoir it's something that if it's something that can be read i must read it i even found a really old copy of the log of the first voyage of beard beard that pirate the pirate at a yard sale can you believe it what a find i couldn't help myself i read the whole thing right there at the table i do feel bad i never paid for it but once i'd finished it, it seemed too silly it seemed silly to buy it anyways that book plots packed quite the scandal and we have a reply 
So, okay, let's just focus on you and uh, Panya. So, oh, he... I didn't remember asking him to bring potluck items, but that's okay. <laughs> I was, like, trying to not, like, make him do anything. Because I wanted... Uh, maybe I should have... Well, anyways. Just do your things. Just do your talking so we can try and... Um... Tell engaging story. So... From what I have found from other people playing and other saves, and even I placed a lot. I was testing something. I placed actually one that comes in the library if you have for rent. And you look in your library, right at the top, there's a max he's built. And it's a residential rental for lots. And I placed it because I was testing something. And then I moved to some Sims from Managed Worlds into the lot. And the only people that sim knew they were unplayed was the other members of their household and uh panya who was the property owner so i think if you have a building that is unowned he is just by default the property owner though i mean i'm sure there's a chance that he might you know i would expect he would get replaced by someone else one if you move him in maybe they bring someone else i would think they would because i would think that would be an un because he's a hidden sim, because he's a hidden sim, if he's not in someone's house, I would think someone else would replace him. But without with him being in the world and unplayed, then he is the property owner from what I can gather. So anyways, we're just waiting for this gold and I'll be back when we're probably possibly at the night market and checking things out there. So we got a gold as we expected and also we did get our good friends. I think that happened right as I was saying later. You know, we'd come back later. But uh, I actually moved her, being Rosalind, in with another household in the world. The, uh, I think they're the Bun Maz. Are they all? Yeah. So, so that we could go. I said I was going to cheat it, but I decided I wouldn't. I decided to move her in here. So because we're still here, I am actually going to switch her over onto the friend of the world and do a Tumorani introduction. I think we know her, we know him, and he's, he's, we know him. Well, we'll do that one introduction and we can probably not do anything with that. I don't know why it didn't just automatically have us know her. So it doesn't matter. We're now going to go back to the location aspiration down to Tumorani knowledge. And now we're going to travel to the night market. I probably should have actually had her move in with the Sims in like the other neighborhood. <laughs> so she was already in the right neighborhood, but I didn't. So we're going to go travel, go to the night market. I'll be back. We're here and I forgot to, uh, we'll just order that. <laughs> I guess we won't have to pay for it because it's coming out of their money. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that wasn't my intention, <laughs> but... That's not actually, that's the food. And now we need to find the stall for the clothing, which I think is here. No, that's food also. I came in at the park. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to just buy the local attire. And we won't buy anything else. I guess I didn't have to buy the food, but the... You know what? We won't. We'll just come over here and buy the top. And then I'll move her back home and she'll come back. There. So she got that and we only took 25 from them. Now I'm going to move her back home and we'll get through the buying food at the night market. And I think the reason I actually did that, it wasn't just for the food, but I also like buying stuff from this stand here. Like see if they have any marbles. I don't think they have anything special with tassels, but yeah, that's, and I don't want to spend too much of, you know, a different household's money. So I'll be back. So she's back in our household, and I don't remember how, what the top cost, but I transferred 35 simoleons out. So um, we're going to order this. I don't even know if she's hungry, but she needs to order food, so that's what we're going to do. And and then I'm looking, getting my bearings. Here's the stand, I'm pretty sure. And this was the whole reason I did it now. So she's got that done. So we're going to purchase goods. And then we're going to head on home so that she can do something fun. She also has to do her programming, I'm pretty sure. I probably should have looked at what 
we have in terms of the marbles, and I don't really see anything. I'll get one of these. But I, I feel like we have the Belladonna Cove and the Sulani Swirl. So I'll double check. I'll come look into the inventory and then go into the household collections. Yes, the Belladonna Cove is like the first most common one, and then this one is pretty common too. That was the other one, I'm pretty sure. So we've done that. They need to get home, do stuff to prepare for the week ahead. I may have them take the day off so that she can just get through this. It would be kind of nice to be finished and not have to be, you know, worrying about getting the you know the little limited time that we have especially since her needs aren't that good and she hasn't even done her homework or any of her programming and all that stuff so i will be back i've had them all three take the day off and we're here at the lounge where she is gonna view this uh tiger statue for this um view the statue of kunme and the tiger and we'll get like obviously the same pop-up that gives you the lore about the tiger but we've already seen that when the other two did it and i have philip and rosalind not rosalind philip and holly introducing themselves at the lounge i guess she's still viewing it it's taking some time and then i'll go have her go visit the cave so then we got this great mother story already that we have the story coming up time and time again so this is the tiger sanctuary this is the statue it's across from the lounge which i have expanded but it, it is across from the lounge now i'm just trying to get my bearings as to where the cave is there is fishing here this spot lets you explore for tassels. There's one here, which we won't do right now. Or I could send, oh, you know what I should do? I should, I should give Philip's broom. We really need to get another broom because <laughs> I keep sharing them between their inventories. <laughs> we'll give that to Holly and Holly can come dig in the sand pile because she's more likely to find something good than... Um, uh, Rosalind, because Rosalind doesn't have like the special trait for completing the aspiration yet, and you're more likely to find decent things if you have got that. I'm just looking where we are. Cause I know there's uh, some that I wasn't finding originally, but then, like I said, I was talking to someone and I had more luck. And that's the one we already got. And... I think there might be another one there, but it's dark and I'm having a hard time seeing. I'm getting turned around. Okay, here's the cave. It does look different to me at night. So you're just going to come here and explore the cave and we're going to have Holly come and dig in the sand piles. And I, I know there was one more. One of those spots over there, there was also two spots, but it the one is like not right in the same, like in the light sand. It's in the darker sand. So let's check in back on Philip, since they are now got their things that we're doing. So let's see, can we um, spy friendly gossip, pry for secrets? Because we're still working on this. We need to snoop. Okay, we're going to try to decipher it, though we've seen that one before. Um, while looking over the carvings, another etching catches Rosalind's eye. It's never newer than than old, but older than new. It's a heart hanging from the talons of a parrot in flight with some initials marked inside. PCT and JWBB, whoever they were, they must have been madly in love to have any potential pirates lingering near, to brave any potentially, any potential pirates ling lingering near nearby. Um, these waters were not always safe, but love can make people do wild things. Hmm. Maybe we'll find that out. Oh, she found he found a secret. And we found a magenta. Ooh, so that was not. Gummy tummy. Since the dawn of time, a gummy bear of pancakes have been regarded as a delicacy enjoyed by all. The notion ends today. I don't care if I'm the only one that thinks this. I'll meet Grim on this hill alone. Gummy bears. <laughs> pancakes are disgusting. I have seen this one before. <laughs> uh, so... You could pause if you want to read it. 
I, I don't know if I, I think I maybe saw it my other Let's Play, but I've definitely seen it. So I don't know how, I don't, not that I don't know how to snoop, snoop, I just, I don't know that we have the opportunity here to snoop. Because <laughs> you need two people sort of gossiping together. And the second person I've seen using this dartboard. And they're not really gossiping. It is kind of late, so that might be why. Probably should take them home once Rosalind... Oh, she's got that done, and she's probably singing, isn't she? No, she's not. She's making a sand sculpture. Well, we got a silver. We didn't count for throwing a party for the potluck. Or, yes, it was the potluck. So let's see if we got anything new in... We got these, okay... We got a bell, so we did get uh, a marble when she was looking, and we got a purple tassel, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, that that's a magenta. So we did get one new. The magenta one was new, so we got a new tassel, and and the others were, were repeats. So I am going to take them home, get them for the night, and we're going to see if we can get Rosalind to finish her location aspiration tomorrow, and maybe also during the day we can try and do some more snooping or whatnot for Philip. It is the next morning. We got our bills. We're going to pay them. For some reason, they came here. So we're going to pay bills and rent 287 I, I, For some reason, we get plus on our power. Um, I guess we're selling it. Why don't we sort junk mail? Even though that's... May as well sort it. But I think that's one of the rewards for doing this, the snooping one. Is you're more likely to find better things. I think. And also it looks like we can get mail. Mm. And she's busy watering and she needs to scrub her herself. And just because I was trying to get her to get some points. Well, just to get through this point. And she failed. <laughs> How dirty are you? Uh, I think we need to rally the troops. And see if we have any luck scrubberooing there. And uh, then I'm going to take, we're going to not worry about these water. I just know the plant, I noticed the plants need looking after. So, and she needed to get this part done when she's not finished it. So I was like, well, let's just let her do that. You know, do two things at once. Actually look after the garden and also, um, let's see, get my bearings. Here we are, and here's this, and this being the lounge, and now we're going to go, we're going to try and support Adopt a Tiger, it costs 100, and then we're going to visit, actually why don't we do the visit first, and then we'll adopt a Tiger after we've completed it. We got a 75 discount on any computer purchases, so if we buy anything online, I did spend money, but we also got money because we got our royalties. So they probably kind of netted out about the same. And part of that money I already spent because I'd bought like all these planters here. To, so we could plant more gardens. There was like some gaffs there. I don't know if I made them or if they were there. <laughs> I don't remember. So we're going to look up. Uh, we're going to kick back and listen to the tigers. Rosalind closed her eyes and listened to the tigers in all their glory, soaking in the various sounds of nature. It's important to remember that there are these are wild creatures besides she heard somewhere that if you can see the tiger you're on the dinner menu so maybe luck was on her actually on her side so she got it done so she got that one done and we need to go in and change the rules so that we have some rules but i think i will before i do that because i think i'll do the have no parties as my no rule and i don't want that one until she gets her party she needs for her teen aspiration Cause she's there and she also has to buy or get outfits i can gift the outfits from the other two because i don't think i can drag them i think we actually have to like gift them over um yeah i, I wasn't going to give it to her i was just testing to see so i have to physically gift it so i'll probably see what's trending and buy it it'll probably be you know whatever and i uh, will also have a party after they probably go to their after school activity so that like I then can move along with the other but also 
we need to work on Philip's snooping aspiration. I'd like to really get through that, but we're going to leave this part here. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!